the city. Turn down for what? Spot, spotlight in the city. Turn down for what? Tune in to Spotlight in the City. Turn, turn down for what? Turn, turn down for what? Spotlight in the city. Man, you ain't do a death of you. Spotlight in the city. Man, you ain't do a death of you. Spotlight in the city. Man, you ain't do a death of you. Watch the spotlight in the city. Hey. Welcome to Jason of Attention with Spotlight in the City. And we're here live at Karma Bistro. I am here with Miss. It's Tara Morrell. Tara Morrell. How are you doing? You looking I'm beautiful. Good. Thank you. You do too. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about Tara Morrell. You do EDM and pop, correct? I do EDM and pop. I'm going to be at a new artist with Icon Studios. So it's a lot of stuff coming out this year. So stay tuned. All right. Do you got a single, anything that you're pushing currently? We're currently recording. So I want that one hit single that we're still trying to find. Okay. You said Wycliffe single. Huh? You said that one single or Wycliffe single? That one single. Exactly. That high single. Let because that what put you on in the industry. And once you got that that one single, it's on from uh, there. Yeah, I know. I worked on a lot of projects in the past here in Atlanta. I came from Germany. I moved to the States to do the music thing. So so how, uh, how was music in Germany? What is it? A better opportunity there or here? It's easier here. You can have easier connections here. Um, overseas back then when I left, like eight years ago, it was just a totally different genre. It's not what I wanted to do, so I feel like it's out here. So when did you find your passion for singing? Was it at an early age, or did you find it after like high school? No, always. It was, I remember my mom told me that when she stopped singing, when I was in her belly, I used to start kicking her. So I always loved music. Oh, and I have another artist in the building from Icon Studios, Miss Olivia herself. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. You're looking good. Thank you. Thank you. You look good yourself. Exactly. You got the burgundy going with the dress. I'm trying. I'm trying. You're doing a good job. So a little bit about you. I know you was in the Army for a while, and now you're singing. Where Did you start your career in the Army? Um, no, I was actually singing before the Army. I never stopped doing what I was doing because I already knew that I wasn't making an Army a career. And basically, as soon as I got in the Army, I already said that I'm not real listening. I'm getting out and I'm moving in Atlanta like I was supposed to do in the beginning and I'm starting my music. So you only did like your first four years in the Army? Only four. Only two four. No re-ups. Where were you stationed at? Uh, Fort Benning, like probably like two hours away from here, Fort Benning. Okay. So, I'm familiar with Fort Benning. All right, so you've been in Atlanta how long? May 30th. For how long? May 30th. Oh, you just got yeah. to Atlanta. <laughs> so how did you find Icon Studios? Or did you, were you with the label before you got to Atlanta? Actually, no. I'm very, um, I'm real ambitious. So if I see somebody putting anything up about music, I'm emailing. I'm Facebook and I'm there. So you hungry. You hungry. Exactly. I'm starving. I'm exactly. starving. That's what that grind is all about. And you get noticed just that quick. You picked it. And they're a well-known label. Teddy Bishop, a real well-known producer, Grammy-nominated producer, Icon Studio. So you found the right people. I found them. I was all in the inbox, annoying them, everything. <laughs> like, all right. all so the what type of music do you do? I actually do R&B. I'm an R&B artist. I write. I sing. People actually know me as voice. So I, I just write and sing R&B.